terrifying moments as shots are fired at an off-duty officer and his parents. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Moore. That shooting happened last night in Queens, right after the officer pulled into a convenience store. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram is live in Sunnyside now with what we're learning about what happened. Jennifer. Hi, Jessica. Police say a gunman opened fire on an off-duty officer while he was with his parents. Those bullets striking the officer's car, barely missing him, barely missing his parents. That happened inside of this 7-Eleven parking lot where we are right now in Sunnyside, Queens. This is near 43rd Street and Queens Boulevard. Police sources say the officer and his 71-year-old father went inside the 7-Eleven while his mother, who's in her 60s, waited in the car. We're told the father spotted the suspect with the gun in his hand. The officer and his father then quickly rushed back to their vehicle, and that's when the gunman started to shoot before he sped off. Police say two bullets hit the officer's car windows, shattering the glass. Police sources say they don't believe the officer was targeted. They say the gunman was already in the parking lot when the officer pulled up. They believe the gunman may have been planning to rob the 7-Eleven. As the search for the suspect now continues, people we talk with here today say it's another example of the increase and crime in New York City. Wow, no, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've been, you know, I get my haircuts out here. I've been, you know, I'm from Queens, and that's just crazy. It really sucks. Yeah. Because you can't go anywhere now. There's like guns everywhere. And police say that officer was not seriously injured, but he did suffer from some lacerations because of the shattered glass on the window. Investigators right now are reviewing a surveillance video. They're asking for your help tonight. If you have any information as to what happened here, you are urged to call police. We are live in Sunnyside, Queens tonight. Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News. All right, Jennifer, thank you.